restarted and everything. So, after talking to my colleague, Mr. Master Stumpy, uh, we've, he said, I, I wanted either Jacob Eason or Fromm. He says go with Fromm. And that's what I'm going to do. Um, Joe Flacco is probably not going to start for us. He's already old. And he's Joe Flacco. Um, could I have traded maybe to get a better fourth round or fifth round pick for Mr. Sam Darnold? Probably. But I didn't think they were going to. I thought, if anything, I thought I was overreaching because I didn't know he had that much money. But we'll see. I think they'll give a, they'll give him up for us for a fifth round pick. Yeah, see? And now we have our QB of the future. I'm going to go ahead and save. Yes, these are a bunch of the franchises that I'm doing. I'm doing the Lions franchise for fun. But this one's going to be the Jets. Alright, so we did the Jets. Um, so, first things first, right? Left tackle, of course. Free safety, of course. Um, but however, our quarterback, our quarterback needs it the most. Jake Fromm needs it. Alright, you probably thinking, we could have gone with James Morgan. But um, I refuse. Mr. Fromm is going to be our starter. For the future, for sure. uh, we're going to build this team around Mr. Fromm. And then we're going to see what he can transform into. Um, though I do think we need a fullback though. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because Mr. Welsko here is our fullback. And... Um, I could trade. I could transition to a fullback. I'll transition to a fullback. Screw it. He's already seven three. He's gonna stay on this roster for very long, being a fullback. Um, eighty five though. We'll let him keep his number. We'll let him keep his number. You're gonna be like, why is it eighty five of a fullback? Well, I mean, he used to be a tight end, and then we changed his number. See, now he's our fullback. No, sir. Mr. Fromm is going to start for us. As a matter of fact, he's probably going to be our captain. All right. I'm, I'm more of the belief that your starting quarterback should be your, your captain. If he has the leadership capabilities. If not, oh, you already are a captain. Never mind. You are not for some reason, even though you're probably one of our better players. That and we're paying you a whole lot of money. Quinn and Williams? Yeah. yeah. You're already one of our best players already now. Jameson Crowder. This guy here. I don't know how... This guy keeps, he's like a Madden legend or something. Cause he's like, he just keeps getting like massive yardage and he's our number one receiver. I don't typically like that. Um, I'm more of a, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of having him as our, as our wide receiver. I mean, there's a bunch of other wide receivers. Like Danny Amendola is better than all those boys, right? Some people's second receivers. So if they don't re-sign Curtis Samuel, I'd be under... I'm not going to lie to you. I'd probably make that deal. I'd probably be the one that'd be like, you know, that that's like, you know what? I'll sign him to that deal. I'll sign him to the deal. That's the crazy part. Because we need, we, need, we need receivers. Right? Uh, even even Will Fuller is better than our receivers, man. You know, we just need receivers. 
That's all, that's all I really care about. Um, so yeah, we're probably gonna go ahead and start simming these franchise, and then I'm gonna turn on the. Oh wow! So Jake Fromm's gonna go up against his team. <laughs> that's crazy. I didn't think that was gonna happen. All right, Henry. I don't know if we're, we're probably going to keep you. Uh, Josh Doxson. Physical. Yeah. I remember when Josh Doxson I thought was going to be a good receiver. And then he kind of just fell off from there. Breaking news. Ah, okay, never mind. Great. I don't know who's going to be our starting tight end. I think that's something we're going to have to look for in uh, free agency. If not free agency, then... Um, yeah, I don't like... The running backs... You guys can fix... They, the computer can do that for me. I'm not, not a huge fan of the uh, upgrading running backs. Because I feel like I upgrade the wrong things. And defensive ends and then outside linebackers. I like middle, in, middle linebackers. Because you can kind of, you know, get what you need. All right, so obviously you need to be a physical receiver. Corey Davis would be a great fit for this team. I know he's on the team in real life, but I don't want to trade for Corey Davis. All right. Because uh, then I have to pay him later. I, I know that from experience because I have. Paid Mr. Corey Davis. He would be a good fit for the uh, team, but we made $10 million somehow being the Jets. Anyways, uh, I'll just do it next home game. Um, we're going to get Mr. Fromm all the things he needs to succeed in this game. Dang. Are we going to go 0 and 16 with this team? That's what I feel like. No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Jesus. Didn't even upgrade the physical. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why is it so... Why is there no music playing? Because... Your boy... Just trying not to get copyright strike. So, having music in this game will certainly do that to me. Yeah, we, we probably should have. Um, I don't know, guys. Should I trade for Mr. Corey Davis? Because, I mean, someone already signed Colin Kaepernick. Uh, it was probably the Jaguars. Um, because, I mean, there's no really good free agency. There's no, there's no like, someone we can get from here, that would be that would be a great fit for this team right now, right? And if we do, it's probably gonna be one of those teams where it's like uh, probably gonna be one of those guys that you have to develop, and uh, I'd rather do that via draft or trade. But you know, I don't want to trade a cup a couple of my picks because I already traded. A, no, I traded a fifth. I wonder what the time, you know, let me see. Let me see, right? They got a good quarterback in Ryan County, right? Running backs, crazy. Right, so. They have Corey Davis. Uh, Mr. Davis is a 25 year old gentleman. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that he could be one of the greater um, running backs, not running backs, receivers. The problem is, do I want to trade for him? Right? Because the, I'm going to pay him either way. You know? So it's like, do you, should you, should I pay for him or should I just leave him be? Right? That That's kind of my my issue here 
because I'm a huge fan of a lot of players. We got Brian Edwards. But should I just go this year without trading for anyone and then maybe trade for someone else? Or should I just go ahead and just pick up Corey Davis and then call it, call it a day? Because right, Corey Davis is going to be our number one receiver if all works out. Right? But my issue is there could be someone else that could be a good receiver for us. You know? And free agency. And that's kind of my, my concern, if you will, is that we'll, we'll find someone and they won't be as good. So, they have so many good receivers. Um, but yeah, look, even they have good receivers. Tyler Johnson is another one we could trade for, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna wait until free agency. I wanna wait until free agency before I trade anyone. If I'm not mistaken, there's some there's supposed to be some good receivers out and about this year. Right? Cause I mean you still got we still got a couple good receivers here. I'm not a huge fan of any of them. Uh we could potentially get Kenny Galladay. Um Kenny Galladay is a big one. Yeah, none of these guys are going to be here for very long. Uh, Corey Davis is another one we could get. Um, yeah, Mr. Davis. Will Fuller. So far, I'm only... Will Fuller and, and Corey Davis. I don't know about Josh Reynolds. Uh, Jay Jones could be another one. Curtis Samuel. Curtis Samuel's a really good receiver. Um, he got us. I don't know about Chris Conley. Um, Kendrick Bourne. I don't know. <laughs> uh, Zach Prasco. Uh, maybe not, not T. Ryan. Um, Sammy, not, Sammy Watkins could be a good receiver. Uh, Mike Williams could come available at some point. Christian Kirk. Uh, Chris Godwin could be another one. Um, AJ Green could be a good stopgap. Maybe we pick up John Ross. Um, Allen Robinson could be a good one. Anthony Miller, maybe. You know, I just don't feel like we should trade for anyone. Other than maybe Corey Davis, but we have to, we, we would have, I would have to see. Um, personally. I think I think I should get Mr. Fromm a number one receiver at least for at least this year I mean Jamison Crowder is a good player but is he going to be someone that you want to why am I paying this guy so much money but you know I could I could trade for Corey, Mr. Corey Davis um You know, it's good. 
Um, we're gonna go ahead and trade for Corey Davis. Um, I'll give you Brashad Breeman. I mean, Brashad Breeman. I think Brashad Perryman. Uh, um, why should I package? I'll give you a fifth for next year. I don't think they're going to take it, but... Oh, well, I'll be damned. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked, <laughs> personally. But we got Corey Davis. Uh, I'll pay him. I don't care. What about me? Why do I get a top story? Dude, can you believe that? Can you believe that? Look at that, man. How comes they get not staying pant? But they gave up Corey Davis and a first round pick. Not a first round pick, and a fifth round pick. What kind of malarkey is this, man? Jesus Christ. It's like, come on, man. Like, I don't get, I don't get anything. I traded for Bush Corey Davis. Look, he, he even raised up overall by like two. Her down to fourth is a good player. But Jesus Christ, man, come on. It's like, come on, dude. It's like, what else do I got to do, man? Right? Now, if you look at our team, we're a pretty solid team now. <laughs> I used to terms of receivers, we got Corey Davis, Jamison Crowder. Um, one of these two guys, I guess, can... Oh, we're 3-4. Okay, never mind. And defensive tackle is not really a huge thing for us. But where is CJ Mosley? Is he hurt or something? Am I, am I not sensing something here? Where's CJ? I did not trade CJ Mosley. I refuse to believe I traded that guy. Alright. Okay, okay. Jake Fromm starting. I don't care what you say. There we go. I was like, I was so confused because I was like, he's not showing up here. Why is he not showing up here? Uh... Jesus Christ, I don't know who to choose here. We got this 27-year-old kicker. Ah. And then we got Chase McLaughlin here. He's 24. Personally, I, I'd go with Chase McLaughlin. He's younger. He can, he can at least somewhat improve. But, it's like, Jesus Christ, man. Right, this is all good value. Uh, merchandise sells. Probably make them cheap. We're, we're gonna be a garbage team, guys. And I know for certain that I'm not gonna be paying that much money for decent players. Can you imagine paying 200 300 bucks for a Frank Gore football? <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like, hey man, two dollars for some chips. Ridiculous. Five dollars for a damn bagel. Onion rings. Pastrami. What's Italian ice? Someone needs to tell me what Italian ice is. And why does it cost so damn much? <laughs> I In my 22 years of life, I've heard of a, uh, I've heard of Italian food, but I've never heard of Italian ice. Someone needs to go ahead and do some some research and tell me.
because because I don't know anything right I don't know a damn thing, dude. <laughs> I don't, hey, we beat the we beat the good old uh, Steelers, thirty-one to three. That was fun. Oh, three touchdowns, three picks. Two touchdowns, three picks. Good. That's kind of figured how it would go. I'm just saying, man. We need we need someone. All right. We we. We needed someone. Oh. You know? Well, at least our rookie's doing good. I don't know, man. I think I think Sam Ficken is just too old for me. He, They're the same overall, but Chase McLaughlin is like two years younger. Thomas Hennessy. I got to cut so many players. Um, so many players. We only have four running backs. I'm not cutting any of them. We, we, I, tr yeah, move them to, yeah. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have so many. You ever get that glitch where you can't, uh, cut so many players? Oh, I saw that penalty. You live for another day, Thomas Hennessy. You live for another day. All right. That's all I'm going to say to you, sir. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we'll probably cut you, sir. Save us some cap space as well. Thomas Hennessy. I guess you're a third stringer. <laughs> I, I refuse to pay that kind of penalty, dude. Tripping. Why do we need so many offensive linemen? And we only have one right guard. We do not need this many offensive linemen, dude. Like at all. And obviously, I know who I'm going to cut. Right? Because I can't cut this guy. I mean, I can, but then who's going to play right guard? This guy? Ridiculous. And he's younger than the other guy, so I'm not. You know? No. I will gladly cut you. You suck. <laughs> 410, I don't even care about that. All right, I'll, I'll find a younger right guard. I don't know how you're captain, but you will start. Jesus Christ. Um, well, I mean, if, it's, if he's not going to be any good, then why would I keep him? Um... That's fine by me. Oh. Um, this guy, I'll move him to the practice squad. We're 4-3. We only have two defensive tackles. That's fine by me. Uh... We'll move you to practice squad. Now, however, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven offensive line, middle linebackers. I'm gonna cut you. You don't even deserve to be on the practice squad. Bryce, ooh. Bryce Hager. Don't see why you're on the practice squad. Um, Mr. Langani. Don't see why you're still here. You can now go to the 
you can go to free agency. Corners. Corners, corners, corners. Right? So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight corners, right? I ain't gonna lie to you. You're gonna be the first one to get cut. I will gladly take it. Um, I don't know why we have so many free safeties, but uh, you can go ahead and go. We can go back to the corners now. Uh, Lamar Jackson, you can go ahead and be on the practice squad. I want to cut you. You're going to get cut. Uh, and you're going to get moved to the practice squad. You're going to move to the practice squad as well, Mr. Jackson. Yo, how many? Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know what's going on here. We're going to need a backup right guard. That is for certain. All right. We have two defensive tackles. <laughs> for some apparent reason. Uh, this team, man. Um... We'll go ahead and cut Elijah. Sorry, Mr. Elijah. Wait, can I move you to the practice squad? I'll, yeah, there you go. We can go to the practice squad. You didn't move to the practice squad, though. Ah, okay. You're a glitch. Um, oh, no, we're going to cut you, my guy. Ah, it's windy now. And it's dark. Yeah, we're cutting you, sir. My good man. You're simply not going to cut it here. You're 27. This guy's 24. All right. What have I done? Ah, I see. Now, we go to, to the right guards. And see how many good players are out there now? Am I going to sign into them? Hell no. However... I will sign young guys to be backups. Shaq Calhoun. I don't know, man. You know, we could... I could easily draft the right guard next year. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, Mike Remmers the best available right guard one year deal make have a lot of cap space go ahead for one year yes sir defensive tackles listen I know we have a bunch of young guys Trust me, I know. However, we are going to need someone to uh, be somewhat decent and wait so we can develop these young guys. So I'm thinking Malik Jackson. You know, hey, come on to this team. Stay a year. I mean, you're just going to sit on the... You're going to be at home all year. Go ahead and just come on this team for a year. And, um, you know, just let's just try to build our way up. You know, as a, as a group and as a unit. And there we go. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is your starting 20... I believe 2020... Yes, I'm not an idiot. 2020. Uh, New York Jets.
So we got Jake Fromm as our starter. Frank Gore is going to be here. Uh, we got Corey Davis as our number one. Jamison Crowder, Braxton Barrios, Denzel Mims, Josh Doxson, Jale Jaleel Scott, I believe is his name. Yes. Uh, oh, oh, starting. We got Mikel Benton, Alex Lewis, Connor McGovern, Mike Remmers. Uh, probably going to start him personally because, I mean, he's younger, but, you know. Yeah. Um, probably going to start him over the other guy. Don't know why he's starting. Um, then we, your defense. Pool. You're not starting over Davis. Uh, pool. Bryce Hall, Corey Ballantyne, Josh Goodry. I, I say Josh, but his probably name not even Javelin. Blessing, the bless on Austin. What the heck? <laughs> Jake and Jake Frank, John Franklin Myers, Henry Anderson. Uh, I don't know who this guy is. Ah. Uh, so he's going to probably start over Mr. Malik Jackson. But he's Malik Jackson's going to be a Quentin Williams. I think his name is Austin Davis. Ashton Davis. My bad. That's Bradley McDougal, Jordan Jenkins, Patrick Ansoir, CJ Mosley, Basham. I think his name is Tyler. Terrell. Terrell Basham. My bad. Marcus May. Marcus Farley. No, Mateus Farley. Yeah, Mateus. Thank you. Special teams is looking like Chase McCoughlin and Bra Brian. Is it Brian or Bradley? Braden. Braden, man. I'm terrible with names. I'm so sorry. Um, I'm not a huge fan of having my one of my starters return kicks. But uh, Corey Ballantyne wants to return kicks. He can. These are our, specialty, our specialists. I don't know about having him as our slot, but each his own. And this is this is your team. We'll probably fill out with some practice squad players. Uh, probably get a quarterback, practice squad quarterback. I do enjoy developing them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go with... Um... Now, I do have an affinity for Luke Falk. I thought he was going to be a pretty good quarterback. I mean, you, you look at his career in Washington State. I mean, he was pretty good. We're going to pick up Rashad Penny. Be our practice squad member. Um... Um, yeah, receivers, Greg Ward Jr., I thought he would have been a great quarterback, but teach his own, um, let's see here, huge fan of Jordan Lashley, huge fan of Jordan Lashley, Lasley, liked him a lot coming out of college, thought it was going to be something, didn't turn out to be anything, and David Sills, the fourth, I did enjoy watching him play as well. So I think I think we're pretty much filled up on practice squad players, if I'm not mistaken. Do I did I get too many receivers? Yes. I do enjoy the receivers. Alright. However, we do got a lot of good players. Uh, Rashad Penny. I'm thinking Rashad Penny might be a starter after Frank uh, Frank Gore. Uh, okay, so I don't do defensive linemen uh, because I don't really know what to look forward to. But, um, oh, Lamar Jackson is not practicing for a second straight day. That's cool. Uh, we're going to start Christopher Hendon the fourth. Tenzel Smart. 
I just follow whatever he do as an offense. Adam Gase, if you don't have a winning record, I will. And I mean this from my bottom of my heart. I will go ahead and fire your ass. I mean, you're already you're already fired. If you don't, unless something happens where he just like goes out and does everything, like I'm gonna fire him and then replace him with someone else who can do the exact same thing he can, right? So, for example, his schemes are what? Multiple zone run three four hundred, right? All I gotta do now is just find someone who can run a fourth a multiple zone run. With a 3-4 under. That's all I need to do. That is all I need to do, sir. Upgrade. Jake Fromm needs the upgrade. That's wonderful. Mr. Fromm. You're now 63. Just between you and Jacob Eason. Um, Chase McLaughlin. Jesus Christ, you're... Hold on, we need to upgrade your accuracy. I 70 accuracy? Fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, not... <laughs> he has 70 ac 72 now, but damn. <laughs> 72? Jesus Christ. Come on, man. Out there working with chump change. 72. My word. 72. Out of his mind. He is out of his mind, dude. Out of your mind. Corey Davis. Sir. You want a four year deal. My good man. I'll give you a four year deal as well. Um, not signing you. Not signing you. Not signing you. Definitely not signing you. Not signing you. You are gone. Mm, you're gone. You're gone, you're gone. You're gone. You, sir, are not gone. You're gone. You will stay. I don't know about you. You will stay. You're gone. You're definitely gone. All right, so we got a lot of players that I'm not a huge fan of, personally. Corey Davis, though, I will gladly give him a five year deal. Um. That's fine. I will I will gladly up your salary, dude. Gladly up your salary. All right. Without further ado. Let us please watch this game. Uh, hold on. I want to turn commentary down. But how do I do that? Does God know? This is, these are penalties. I'm not trying to figure out penalties. This, this is not what I want. You are not giving me what I want. For that I will find you. And I will end your, your life. Ah, uh, so this is how I do it. Okay, I've never, I've never been here. No, I'm not doing that. Volume control. There we go. Commentary, commentary. Not a huge fan of the music. I'm gonna turn this down. You know what? We're gonna keep the commentary on. Uh, if someone wants me to turn it off, I can. At least I know where to go now. Anyways. Let us see where our coach stats are. Alright. Want to see what our coach stats are looking like. Alright. So we got a bunch of 100 win teams. I'm just looking at guys that can run our scheme. 
Yeah, I don't know about him. Oh, no. I'm not getting mad, Patricia. You got me messed up. I'll just find an animated coach then. If this guy can't do his job. All right. How many how many years do you have yet? That's what I want to know. How many years did the Jets sign your butt? Who? 22. 22. Oh man, we got to <laughs> Yo, we got to we got to upgrade this training staff other than him. Other than this guy right here. It's Garrett and Gase he might not come back next year. But this is our focus players. We got Beak, 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 Tongue, Ashton Davis, and Jake Fromm. These are the guys we want to recruit. Uh, starting, you know, starting. Yep. Uh, can't wait to get our butts kicked. That's going to be fun. Uh, if you guys want to see some news, you can. Right. Cowboys visit Rams. Dak Prescott needs to play. Yada, yada, yada. Kirk Cousins could be a difference. Tennessee Dom Haskins. All right. Uh, the Buccaneers cut LaShawn McCoy. He's a 73 overall. All right. He's not even better than Frank Gore. Oh, you want to see some career stats? We will check the career stats. As expected. Frank Gore. Is probably going to go off. Um, Josh, Ty Johnson, I'm a huge fan of. Josh Adams, I'm a huge fan of. But I'm not going to resign Josh Adams because it's going to cost me too much money. And I can easily replace him with Mr. Rashad Penny. Yeah, so we don't have a good, the greatest uh, team. Uh, other than CJ Mosley. Mosley? Yeah. 31 sacks. 10 interceptions. Ah, now I see why they... They wanted to get rid of you, my guy. Alright. That was our career stat so far. Without further ado, let's play this game against the Bills. And by play, I mean watch the team. Let us watch the team uh, do their best. These are the superstar X factors. I turned them off because I'm tired of it. Just it just doesn't make it fun. Uh, advanced settings, yada yada. We will receive. Um, personally, I like to kick and watch our defense, but I'm a little scared. To be honest with you, we are not the greatest team. There goes off and injured CJ McCaffrey, our salt sniffing coach, Marcus May versus Micah Hyde, CJ Mosley, Tremaine Edmonds, Quentin Williams, Mario Addison. That's a name I haven't seen in a while. Corey Davis versus Stefan Diggs. Oh, that's not your good one. Jamison Crowder versus Cole Beasley. They have a better team. Today, from Orchard Park, New York, it's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. We gotta see these boys twice a year. Yes, Jake Fromm, our boy. On a gorgeous late summer afternoon, it's time for football from Bill Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the New York Jets. 
Stephon Diggs, man. Ah. Uh. With my yes. good friend Charles Davis, yep. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. I had a little more pep in my step yes, this sir, we have. I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. <laughs> you did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. Huh, that's how no the more just game predicting what's goes. going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. It's usually three and twenty six. Taking up past the twenty five to the twenty six yard line. So now here comes the jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by the <laughs> rookie the from Georgia, selected in the fifth round back in April. It's My guy's invisible. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the. Did you see that? <laughs> My guy. My guy's invisible. Come on, man. How could they do this to our boy? Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna watch this first quarter. Ah, seems like we're gonna run here. Here's Frank Gore, the veteran who sits third all time in rush yards. Had a really good show of four, four yards. He nice. gets through for four tough yards. All right. Jake Strong's first pass attempt. He gets sacked. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Damn it. Jake Strong. And there's a sack by Jerry Hughes, and I wonder how many times it goes through his head that in his youth, he was playing offense and trying to avoid the fate that he's putting on quarterbacks play in and play out. He's a guy who knows how to get to the quarterback with speed and with power. Yeah, they got, they got us. They got us willing, boys. This is the script they had in mind for their opening drive. This is third and long. Now it's third and 17. Now they have to pass. All right. Will we Got see Jake Fromm's gun. first he's pass strong. attempt? And he's unable to haul it in. So and it falls incomplete over the middle third of the field. And that brings uh, up fourth. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things uh, defense is trying. You know what I forgot How to do? we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. I forgot a to take off injuries. Punt, no return. Damn it. The Bills will take over the football with a first and I forgot ten. to turn on injuries. Now comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. Damn it. That's Josh okay. Allen. Well, what do we ask about players in this league? We ask them to improve from year to year, and Josh Allen did exactly that from his rookie year to year number two. Doubled his touchdown passes. From all right, all right. Whatever. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Let me let me go back and turn on the I forgot all about injuries. I forgot I turned them off. Uh it wouldn't be fair if I turned it back on after the game. For the other team. Alright. That also gives me a chance to adjust that commentary. They're pretty loud, aren't they? Um, user management, I believe. No, okay, never mind. Uh, let me go ahead and turn these boys down. To like a solid 50. All right, now we're gonna go watch the game. I'm sorry, I had to turn on injuries. That was gonna bother me. I was like, you know, I'm used to seeing people injured in week one. <laughs> Just to realize I turned off injuries for the preseason. Why am I an idiot? The world may never know. The world may never know.
You already see this, right? I'm not about to. I'm not about to bore y'all with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So what we're gonna do? Right. I'm gonna return this kick. And by me, I mean. Anything. Oh wow, they found Avon Bell defecting this. We cannot stop the boy Patty Mills. Or Patty Mills. Patrick Mahomes. There we go. Our boy's not. <laughs> Our boy's not uh, invisible anymore. Alright, we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch this possession. All right, Jake Fromm in his first career start, hands off. Four yards. Four yards. All right. Continuing his tour around the AFC East. Remember, he was with Miami in 2018. Played for his opponents in this ball game, the Bills, in 2019. And now wears the green with the New York Jets here in 2020. Well traveled. Oh, four again? Hey, man. Two rushes for eight yards. That's all we need. Already going better than last game. Probably going to go four and out, though. I mean, three and out. Run it again. Okay, he got it. Damn, we're, we're, we're going to run Frank Gore to the ground, aren't we? Jesus Christ. All right, are we gonna run again? Yes, we are. <laughs> we're we're gonna be we're gonna have good defense. We're gonna have some. We're gonna play some good defense, and that's it. That's all we're gonna do. Have good defense. Pass when we need to. And continue on. Okay. Nice. Jamison Crowder. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Frank Gore. So we're just we're just throwing it to Mr. Gore every single time. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna go turn on the AC. It's getting kind of, it's getting guy kind of toasty in my room. In my room, I mean, living room. Okay. Is that Jamison Crowder again? Oh no, Christopher heard him. I'll be back. You're gonna hear something. I'm sorry. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, Tom. Is that her down again? I'm back, guys. Solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence mm. is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. So we've seen like two catches from Jamison Crowder, and then like, no, a catch from Jamison Crowder, and like two or three catches from Herdon, our tight end. Ah, uh, Frank Gore again. Tackle made there by Matt Frank Gore, the ball carrier. Just not a whole lot of 
I mean, he's pretty old. What did you expect? <laughs> this man's like ancient. He was still playing when I saw him when I was a kid. I'm 22 now. Uh oh. Ooh. Okay. That scared me. I don't know about y'all guys. Alright. Alright, Braxton Barrios. Alright. He's gonna be our Wells Walker. Hopefully. Man. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback, it doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, it's really important to get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence. Hey, man. It allows him to play better as the game goes on. Frank Gore again. Frank Gore? All right. Yeah, it's just the Frank Gore show today, I guess. It's the Frank Gore show. That's what it is. Ah, no. Ah. Really? We're probably not going to go for it, but... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. He stiffed on someone. Are we going to take three points or are we going to go for it? That's what I want to know. Oh, we're going for it. We might as well. It's on the one yard line. Oh, we're passing though. Oh. Uh, that was the dumb. That makes sense. Oh, 99 slow power. Oh, well, it was a good drive, but it was a, it was a damn good drive. Problem was, uh, we couldn't capitalize. Um, we handed the ball off to Frank Gore like six thousand times that drive, and um, you know, it's unfortunate. But Jake Fromm couldn't get his first pass and touchdown. And now the first NFL carry for the Utah man, Zach Oh, yeah, Winters is hurt. Already though? Jesus Christ. Dang. Something wrong with his hand, I guess. Gonna go to the locker room. Oh, please. Please punt from your own end. I would, I would appreciate it. Okay. Jake from is number fourteen. Chess fans, is is number fourteen something that Jake from should have, or should it be something else? Because I'm not, a, I'm not, I'm. Like, I remember when Matt, Mark Sanchez used to play for the team, and then you guys got some Tebow, and you never played him for some reason. But you went with Greg McElroy, or whatever his name is. So I guess what I'm asking is, is he, is this something that you guys, is a number 14, like, near and dear to your heart, that I should change? Or is it going to be something that I should just keep? That, that's what I want to know personally. But that's just me though. Now you're wondering, you could just do next quarter. And I was like, yes, you are right about that. However, change your possession. What happens if the drive leaks over for the first quarter? And um, I'll probably do next quarter for the second one. Surely because the second quarter, uh, there's halftime. So as well. Okay, you wanna, okay. Back to six for nine. That's nice. My man is just like managing the game. But his favorite target is that tight end. Though. 
Okay, that was a good grade. Okay. Frank Gore, 11 rushes, 40 yards, man. That's looking, that's looking nice. Okay, are we gonna do a stretch with the old man? Okay, never mind. Sun's on him. Crazy. Uh, okay, Green Bay's beating Minnesota. Aaron Rodgers threw a touchdown pass. Ah, uh, the Colts are losing to the Jaguars, but the Jaguars probably got a Colin Kaepernick. Two right hit him. Caught a big ball. Yeah, see? Can someone explain to me why Colin Kaepernick's an 81? Like, I understand what he did for everyone. Uh, I know what he did, socially, but like, come on now. The guy hasn't played football in about four or five years. And the last time he was rated in Madden 17, he was rated a 72. So tell me, tell me how he managed to get to an 81. Why is he invisible? <laughs> Why is my guy 89 invisible? Yo, next time just take three points. We could be up by six right now. There we go, Frank Gore, touchdown. Frank Gore got his first touchdown as a Jet. Or was he a Jet last year as well? This team has somehow surprised me. Now I know we had to redo it because my dumbass um, forgot to put up the, uh, the injuries. But I mean... He's got it. This team is still pretty bad. I don't expect this to keep up, but right now we're all heart and no skill. Adrian Peterson just ran for a 75 yards for a touchdown. Did you guys see that? <laughs> Maybe I should bring Adrian Peterson to the Jets if he doesn't retire. Just for giggles. Going to be the backup because Rashad Penny is probably going to be our starter for the next couple years. John Brown. Ah, the Panthers are beating the Raiders. But the Raiders this year, not this is last year's edition of the game. But the Raiders this year, listen, the Raiders this year have been really, really something special. Uh, I don't know how they keep winning all these close games. But they've, they've been winning, and it's just something to see. Ah, there we go. And, I mean, what can you say about that team? That hasn't been said. He is really good. Ah, he tried to make a jump outside. He's too smart for that, though. But can't, can't cover. <laughs> our, best, our best guy is a slot corner. Brian Poole's our best corner. He's 27. And he's not good enough to be where I'm like, you know, you gotta bring him back. If he has a Pro Bowl season, I will gladly bring him back. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, he was open. My defense is 7 11. Always open. Jesus. Like, as soon as he's even like getting to his motion, 48 just let him. Jesus. Sorry. Good job, Davis. So, I'm probably going to be looking to get corners this year. Oh, so we're just leaving all the tight ends open. So the tight end. So in this game, all the tight ends are going to be open. All the tight ends are open. There's even all of the guys. All the tight ends. That's another pass. Never mind. They tricked me. 
it's TJ Yeldon, and he is brought down. But I mean, you see three receivers. Typically, it's a pass. This might be a play action. Told you. Ah, Cole Beasley. Cole saw Beasley. Man. If he didn't break his leg, he could have easily like been a hall of like he could have had a pretty good season. Could have been a pro bowler. It was him and then uh Stefan Diggs. Those two guys. You got Cole Beasley working in the slot. You got Gabriel Davis on the outside. You got Tyler Croft and Dawson Knox and you got Stefan Diggs. Cole Beasley's easily one of the best route runners in the game. Um, sorry, someone was calling me, and I don't know that number. Zachary Moss? I'm kidding, his name is Zachary. I'm like a speed idiot. Ah! So both are running back sports. I see. And then Alex Smith decides to be Alex Smith, 4 for 4, 55 yards and touchdown. Man, that's tough. This is a rough one, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a this is a buck. This is this is rough. I will say that. This year, not this year, this, this one we will watch the next quarter. We will. Okay, Braxton Burrios again. Oh. Okay, Braxton Burrios again. So we're just not gonna. Ah, Corey Davis. Finally, Corey Davis finally got his first catch as a Jet. No, he didn't. The guy was just standing behind him for whatever reason. It wasn't 14 Sam Darnold's number. Uh, ah. Frank Gore, 16 carries already. And they're not even in this. They're not even done. 16 carries. Ah. There we go. Jake Fromm's a check down poppy, huh? Okay. That's fine. Hey, man. First punt for the rookie punter. Good punt. 
I gotta go all the way from the loop now. Such a good punt, man. If I'm not talking for a while, I'm sorry. I gotta tell my mother about it. Because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance if they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing that puts them in that position. First down, and they're going to throw it out. Quick slant to Brown. And he's taken down and now before reaching the tree for a final bill. First down to start the drive at 12 yards. First and 10 at the 20 yard line. Going to give this one to Singletary. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 10 yard line. He was tackled at the 27 yard line. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three. Okay. Number 15. Brown. John Brown. Ah, uh, someone's going to kill him. Ah. Uh, oh my god. They're getting pushed around out there, man. Come on, CJ. Come on, bro. Alright. Ah, oh, he's running. Get him. Oh, he's going across his body. If he would have... <laughs> if someone would have caught that... I would have been angry. FedEx. Ah, someone caught that though. I knew that was going to happen. I felt like two guys running open. Stephon Diggs, his first catch of this game. Man. Jesus Christ. And I realize the music is slipping on. That's unfortunate. But everything better I can figure that out. Uh, that means I just gotta turn off the, uh, the audio. You want a pump fake? Never mind, pump fake all you want now. <laughs> I was like, you get a pump fake on this defense, and then I saw that, and I was like, you know what, never mind, you can pump fake all you want, my guy. Oh, okay. I was about to be like, come on, guys. My man's 9 for 11 right now. Jesus Christ. If they would have caught it. Alright. They're doing too much. Alright. Okay. Josh Allen rolls to his right. Oh, come on. Who is that? John Brown. John Brown ain't making catches like that. All right. If he is, then, I'm, then I apologize. But the man, the man has four catches in 55 yards. Excuse me now. Okay, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe he can't make catches like that. But come on, man. He was rolling to his right, right. And now they're going to score this touchdown. Okay, never mind. Colts are beating the ja Jaguars. 14-3. Ah, okay. Colin Kaepernick is 2% for 35 yards. Brings up third and goal. Ah, oh, damn, Cole, Cole Beasley, <laughs> Cole Beasley. Oh, he's gonna dance on us. Bad. The Bears are twenty-four and seven right now. How? The Bears can't even score more than twenty points. Come on, Brian Poole. You got beat like you stole something, dog. You got beat like you stole something. Come on, man. I hear getting beat. Come on, 
They went 13 to 92. No. No. We simply scored because I'm going to turn off some of this broadcast audio. Go ahead and just sit on it, man. All right. Ah, you got me messed up if you think we're going to go ahead and get copyright strike. Well, which one was that? The stadium speakers? And I don't know if they're saying anything. Yeah, let's go ahead and just. Actually, you can listen to the stadium speakers. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off this music. See if that works. I don't mind on the field semantics, but let's see if that works. Yeah, yeah. His favorite target is that tight end in Braxton Burrios for some reason. Is Her uh, Christopher Herdon and then uh, Mr. Braxton. Mr. Burrios. Oh, Corey Davis. All right, his second catch. All right, that's no music. That's that's kind of what I wanted to do, anyways. Hold on, ESPN. Ah, UFC. Herdon, you see? That's all he. That's all. <laughs> Five catches for 64 yards. He's not Darren Waller, all right? Ooh. But apparently Frank Gore is just... Frank Gore is going to be our home. He's going to be our, our guy. He has three catches for 19 yards. Has the ball. He carried the ball like 17 times already. Yeah, see, 17. He has. He's been. He has 20 touches. He has 17 rushes already. Oh, Ed Oliver. got sacked like twice already, right? It's been rough. It's been rough, my guys. Alright. Yeah, I figured this that the team was going to be like this. Oh! Dang! Almost at 55. Ah. I thought he got 40. He got the guy at the bottom. All right, Braden. Let's get it done, bro. Let's get it done, son. Ooh. That's not a good one, my guy. Josh Allen. Come on, dude. Ah. Oh no. Yeah, that was so good too. It's a beast. But this Buffalo's defense, right? Oh, Dawson Knox is hurt. Oh, 
expect to see this week one of the season. We'll be back. That just means we're going to see more of Tyler Croft. Honestly. Three yards on that Tyler Croft is killing us. Second and seven. Listen, it's hurt. If hurting, it's hurting. Killing. If it's hurting, it's gonna be able to. Oh, finally got a sack. Jordan Jenkins. Good job. Technically, he just kind of just ran into him. <laughs> he just. He just ran into him. Zach Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Hey, man. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. I was going to be, I was like, oh, no. <laughs> if he would have thrown it a little bit deeper, a little bit further, listen. It would have been touchdown. All right, Jake. Promise. See what you got, bro. Okay. Back again to Herden. He loves Herden. He loves that guy. That's like his sixth or seventh catch for him. I can't. I can't let Herden go now. He has six catches in this game. He's having a pretty good. Ah, uh, that was that the first down though. Yes, it was. Okay. Good job, Jameson Crowder. Come on. Ah. Franklin Gore. Okay. I don't want to see a run. At all this stuff. Jake Brom is a game manager. I realize this. Oh my God. How many catches does Frank Gore have? Seven. <laughs> he has seven catches. Ah, you let that free runner go. No. Dang it. Son of a chicken. Damn it. Damn it. I just can't believe this. Watching BMM game on a pop chance, like damn, damn. Every time Buffalo did something great, this song would play. I know this song heart by heart. Oh? Very good return, but I don't think we can do anything. Honestly. 21 to 7. He hasn't thrown a pick, but he hasn't thrown a touchdown. Yeah, just let's see, let's see. We're probably gonna run. We're gonna run up the clock. Never mind. Come on, come on, dude. You gotta throw that ball. Yeah. 
I mean, you can't. You can't just like hold the ball and then keep holding it. You gotta throw something. You gotta do something. All right. Davis has three catches now. You're gonna run the ball. Why are we calling timeout? Oh no, we're not. I was like, what the hell are we calling a timeout for? They got 28 seconds and they got the strongest arm quarterback in this game. Oh no. I was like, are you kidding me? Are you, are you are you joking? Are you joking, bro? Oh, see, look. Oh my God. They got Cole Beasley. Okay. Why didn't they use a timeout though? All right. Huh? Let's see what's happening around the league. Thanks very much, and welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season, so let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start up at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, and it's the Patriots leading that one in the Patriots second quarter. Patriots are beating the Dolphins. Julian Edelman, a touchdown reception. Nice. From there, we head down to the Sunshine State to check on the Jaguars at home in Jacksonville. And Damn. you can see there is the visiting Colts. We have the lead in that one. The veteran, Philip Rivers, with a couple of... T.Y. Hilton has more receiving yards than Kaepernick does passing Finally, yards. we're off to Atlanta. Check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And that game all uh, scores. They take on the visiting... We hope the Falcons Seahawks. lose, though. You're going to be like, why Why do you want the Falcons to lose? Well, we want the in Falcons... The you're watching, it was Josh Allen who was on target in that first half. His guys have the lead as we'll hand it back over... Well, we want... We want Josh Allen... I mean, not Josh Allen. We want Mr. Uh... Oh, well, now we're going to be watching the whole, <laughs> the whole game now because I can't back out. Um, I mean, we were going to do that anyways. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. I kind of just wanted to uh, do this again, but you know, it ain't looking too good for us. I ain't gonna lie to you. Did you see how quickly Kobe got open on that vertical route? Okay. Play fake to single All right. And now it's Allen. Okay. Ah, and now he's going to run. For oh, wait. Come on. Come on, dude. You got to be kidding me. John Brown, five catches, 75 yards. Yo, you can't be angry, Drake Brown. You, you fumbled the ball. Jesus. Like you can't you can't get angry, Jake Brown. You scored seven points. His defense is giving up fourteen points. Like their defense is more points than us. No, the same amount of points than us. Oh no! All right, well. This is what we pretty much expected, though, right? I mean, right, right, my guys. Oh no, again. Yeah. Well, they're picking on the right side. They're picking on, they're picking on thirty-one, man. They're picking on Austin. <laughs> That's what they're doing, dude. Picking on my guy, Austin. That's four tackles already. Oh, no.
First and ten at the 25 yard line. Oh no. Not. I managed to miss four shots, most four, four passes. So I did expect. Oh, rolling up. Oh. Nice. Good job, 48. Oh, you're gonna see some. You're gonna hear some echoes because I wanna. I wanna hear how the stream. Another one. All right. Not too bad. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Wait, who got hurt? No! Our defensive tackle. Takasi? Oh, well, you know, at least you picked up Malik Jackson, but... There we go. I wonder who's their backup since I picked a oh, Barkley. There you go. It's Barkley. Yeah, because I picked up Mr. Uh, from Jake from was drafted by Buffalo, traded him uh, for a fifth round pick. Rookie. Yeah, he got sacked like three or four times. Yeah, I mean, he's a rookie though. I mean, the offensive line is not the greatest. Dang it! Torn labrium! Damn it! Come on, now we only have two defense tackles now. Oh, when you, when you get this glitch right here? You can't do anything until uh, until the injury goes away. Obviously, we're gonna substitute Malik Jackson in for him, but we gotta see how long he's gone. Dang it! Damn! It. Damn it, man! He's gonna be such a good part of our roster. Such a good part. Dang! All right, Fromm, back to pass. Fromm, you gotta do something, bro. Okay. Like, I'm not telling him to be Deshaun Watson, but you gotta throw the ball out the way. Okay, Braxton Burrios. Four catch, 50 yards. Yo, something, something's up with these slot receivers on the real. Yeah, there's something nice there's something with these uh, slot receivers because at one point I watched Adam Humphreys in my other franchise. He had like 106 catches, 1500 yards, and 13 touchdowns. Adam Humphreys. Oh, nice run. One of your better runs, sir. 20th rush. He, he's not going to get 1,400 yards. Okay? Me and you both know he's not going to get 1,400 yards. All right? But he's going to get 1,000. Considering the amount of volume he has. Okay, Corey Davis. So they're just giving him little shorts. Stink and dunks. Brings up second and three. At the 28-yard line. Ah, he probably got hit. Probably, he probably like got 
sandwich didn't try to throw it to me. Oh, damn! Sixty-nine yards too. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was such a bad pass. Like he rushed it too. He got scared. My God. I'm gonna see about putting Corey Davis in the slot. See what's up. Get him some more catches. Let's go. Jesus man, come on. Alright, let me let me do something real quick then. I wanna do something. Uh so far Jamison Crowder has three cat two catches for sixteen yards. Um I wanna try something. Right. So you see our slot receivers, right? These are our slots. However, what if I Put Jamison Crowder in the slot. And just see what happens this drive. You know? That's all I want to see. Braxton Brios has like four catches for three yards, which I think is preposterous, but. And he went back to Brios? No, no, okay, that, that's Rob. That's Griffin. Okay, I was like, don't tell me he went back to Burrios. <laughs> Come on, man. You gotta be kidding me. Yo, will we see his first touchdown, though? Frank Gore's eclipsed 72 yards. Alright. Oh my god, he went back to Burrios. He went back to Burrios. The whole point of me putting Jamison Crowder in the slot was so that Jamison Crowder can go up against their slot corner. Come on, Fromm, do something, Fromm. Fromm. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Can't even blame the offensive line. Oh, it's gonna get blocked. Oh, okay. I got scared. I was petrified. Okay. Oh, we got saved. Hey, baby, this ain't good enough for us. Hey, we got saved. If it was running into the kicker, wouldn't be a first down. Roughing, it is a first. Just think about it. Let's go. All right. New chance at life. New chance at life, boys. Here's Gore. And boy, this defense again really making things tough. Jesus. But according to Adam Schefter, for the first time in franchise history, the Today Show and NBC Nightly News are broadcasting from Gillette Stadium on Friday prior to an upcoming Patriots game. That's crazy. Oh, I didn't see who caught that. Frank Gore. Frank Gore. Dude, Frank Gore has eight catches, 50 yards. Oh, he's going to get sacked again. Come on, bro. I'm gonna do this like that. 
We have one sack. I would be mad too, Moser. Because it would have been 17 to 7. But Jake Fromm has probably gotten sacked like 8 9 times already. Has to. Has to. Barrios again. Barrios. How? Barrios. Relax, my guy. Come on. What was the whole point of me putting Jamison Crowder in the slot then? No? Corey Davis? Five, five catches, 52 yards. That's not bad. Okay, so it seems like Corey Davis has brought some good, uh, a good identity to our offense. No, you're just okay. Good. I was like, he just seems backing up, and then it just scares me personally. Oh, low. Okay. That did nothing. He has 72 rushing yards. That's what he has. 72 rushing yards. And 53 passing, receiving yards. Oh? Herndon. Good job, Herndon. It's Barrios and Herndon today. Those boys. They're probably going to run it here. We've passed the 37 times. Probably because we're down by 24. Yeah. Hey, hey. 74. And now you're mad. You're hurt! You have a torn labrum, bro. How can you throw that Gatorade bottle? Oh, no. Oh! Jake Crom's first career NFL touchdown pass goes to Corey Davis on a slant route. Congratulations to Mr. Fromm. Obviously, the scoreboard right now is not the friend of this rookie quarterback, but hey, a touchdown pass there maybe builds a little confidence. Every rep is valuable when you're a rookie. Every time Jake Fromm. A rightly kidder sized quarterback. I don't know why we're going for two, it doesn't even matter. But. Bro, you better throw it to someone. Okay. Nice two point conversion. I don't know who that was to. Crowder? Crowder, thank you for the two pointers. But. Uh, Mr. Uh, Jake Fromm was a widely criticized quarterback coming out of Georgia, you know. They had Justin Fields. Obviously, he goes and they took with Fromm. Didn't make it past the... Uh, no, they went to like a championship or two, lost them both. And he was viewed as a game manager. Well, today, in this game, he has his first career NFL touchdown pass. Hopefully he has a couple more. So far he only has a touchdown and interception. Uh, yeah, here's here's the hoping. But to Corey Davis, traded for him. It's good. Uh, it's good. Uh, so far trades been paying dividends. Six catches, 54 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, just missing more. You can ask him. I don't know. He was brought down by Patrick to make the tackle. A gain of a yard. Brings up second and oh. second down at the Yo, those slant routes are deadly. <laughs> those slant slant routes are deadly. Like they're always open for some reason unless you have like good Oh. Oh no. Oh and he caught it still. 
Come on, man. Tyler Croft making those type of catches. Come on, Tyler Croft is not making those type of plays. Alright, if it was Darren Waller, Travis Kelsey, they're making those plays all type of day. It ain't no way in heck is, uh, is Tyler Croft making those type of plays. Get the heck. Come on now, man. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Defense is starting to step up here. We're gonna. Right, we're gonna mess around. Okay. Give up a third and ten. Ah. Oh, I hope they miss. Please miss. Come on, miss. Miss. He hit it. Damn it. He was Tyler Bass, man. If it was Justin Tucker, he hits that all type of day. Alright. Corey Ballantyne's been a pretty good kicker for him. You know? Giving us some pretty good field position. Alright, I'll take, I'll take 28 yards per return every time. That's crazy. We gained more yards. You know, if we didn't, if we didn't, it would have been fifteen twenty. That's the crazy part. Oh no! Hey, you want to run this play, bro? Okay, you gotta run this play. We're down by like twenty. Technically nineteen if you want to be technical. Sargent's got like nine catches for like at least 90 yards. We would have been down by 20 if Jake Fromm doesn't throw a pick six and then fumble. That's the crazy part. Oh, he escaped it. Hey man, that's good. <laughs> I thought he was gonna get sacked. I'm just sitting there like, come on, man. He's a rookie, man. I'm not. I'm not expecting him to do much or anything. Yo, he's got to have over 100. Past to. He has 10 catches for 108 yards and and I hate that when you talk about a 300 yard passing game. That that angle route was deadly though. That angle route was something special, dude. Corey Davis. Oh never mind, I like. That's Frank Gore. Nine catches. Oh my god. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because they can't tell me Frank Gore is not it's not goaded after this game. He is our offense. Okay, Corey Davis. Good job. That's what I'm talking about, Corey Davis. Seven catches, sixty one yards. First down, New York. You better throw the ball. And you threw a pick. Oh, another pick six. No. 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 Oh my god. I don't know, man. <laughs> the defense has held this team to 20 points, if you really think about it. 
Oh, damn. That was the longest pass I've seen him throw. He's a rookie, guys. We're not a good team. Again, he didn't even get any yards. Yeah, I mean, he's going to help the fantasy owners who own it. You're telling me, dude, he has like 10 catches. Frank Gore's going to be our leader in like catches and like, rushing yards, too. We have to go for it. Have to. Did he catch that? Oh my god. <laughs> I just... What? How did he even catch that? And Frank Gore again. Frank Gore again. Well, I mean, we're down by like 30 something. Oh my god. Throw it away. There we go. Good job. That's what I'm talking about. Touchdown, two picks. I'm not anticipating him to be. I'm not anticipating him to do much of anything. Another one. Jesus Christ. Oh, 94 got hurt. Oh, 49. My man's thrown three picks already. Um, kind of crazy right now. It's, it's been a rough one, my guy. It's been a rough one. Bro. That's a unit. As a team. Yeah, that, that was a rough one, my guy. I just can't believe this. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> well, Jake Brown was looking great. All right. Other than those three picks, man. He's been, he's been pretty nice. The man, the man is... First and 10 at the 26-yard line. You know, he's been, he's looked good. I'm not going to take anything away from him. Right, but if it wasn't for him, you'd only be down by five. Oh, if you would have thrown it to 14, one of you guys better pick it off, man. Uh. All right. That's fine by me. Oh, you're going to... Come on, bro. Good job.
What do you mean? No, no, no. It's just gonna be. It doesn't even matter if you even accepted it. Honestly, he's gonna make it anyway. It wouldn't have mattered. We easily could have had like easily could be winning. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, dude. Jake from you throw one more pick, I'm gonna have to bench you, dude. I'm putting Joe Flacco. Stone 52 times already. Out of bounds at the 33 yard line. Eight yards on the pickup brings up second and two. Here's Fromm. Uh oh. Uh oh. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40 yard line. Seven yards there in the first down. A gain of seven. First down, New York. Oh, God. The same guy, Matt Milano. Jesus Christ. Alright. That's crazy. He has 72% completion percentage, but God. Where's Braxton? Bring you back in, Braxton. Joe Flacco, go ahead and start for us. Change your position. Just. Uh, He's brought down at the 37 yard line. Time for the Joe Flacco experience. Brings up That's all I'm saying. Here's Moss. Patrick on Wassor on the tackle. It's a gain of two. Brings up third and five. I'm going to give this one to Singletary. And he's got the first. Is it going to Singletary? That's good for a Buffalo Tessler. He's gained there. It's good enough to move the chain. First and ten at the 28-yard line. <laughs> on first down, they stick with Singletary. Singletary. Yes. Let's keep let's keep it moving. All right. Dude, they only scored like 21 points. 24 points. All right. We've given up three touchdowns. <laughs> Two pick sixes and a fumble. Easily 21. It's easily 15, 23 right now. Without the offense trapped in the bed. That's all I'm saying. First and ten at the 18 yard line. They'll run on first down with Moss. And they'll bring him down at the 13. The ball carrier. Quinn and Williams on the carry. Good pickup. Uh, on a gain of five. Down. Brings up second yeah. and five. That at was a rough one. 13 yard line. That was a rough one. Right back to Moss. And he is met in his trust behind the ball carrier. Call up the loss of a yard if things get a little more difficult. It's now third and five. You can't block me. You can't block me. Well, guys, that was, um, I mean, what a game to put up that number of points. Joe Flacco's out there, but it really should be Jake Fromm. Things are working and clicking. Maybe they can bottle this and carry it with them. 
offensive coordinator. Just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Bills, that'll be a Come on, we know, I know we had some highlights. All right, don't, don't try to hoe us. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. We had some highlights. All right. They obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against San Francisco. They had five takeaways. <laughs> so that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of They the had five NFL takeaways, guys. EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. Uh, okay, let's see Jake Fromm. So from Jake Fromm, 40 for 55, 265 passing yards. 72% completion, one touchdown, four picks. Long as Patrick Thorne is 24. Frank Gore, 24 carries, 74 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, Frank Gore had 13 catches, 87 yards. Christopher Herdun, the fourth, had 11 catches, 108 yards. Corey Davis had eight catches for 69 yards and a touchdown. Braxton Barrios had five catches for 64. 64. 74 yards. James Crowder had two catches, 16 yards, and Ryan Griffin had a catch for 17. Blocking. Uh, Connor McGovern gave up a sack. Alex Lewis gave up a sack, and Mikael Beckton gave up two sacks. How many times did he get sacked? That doesn't show. Defense. Um, in total tackles, C.J. Mosley left us in 11. Terrell Basham and Jordan Jenkins led us had each two TFLs. Uh, Jordan Jenkins had one. He only had our only sack of the game. We had no picks. Chase McLaughlin attempted no field goals, had one extra point. Uh, Brandon Mann had three punts for 92 yards and one inside the 20. Christopher Valentine, four. There you go. There you go. For the Bills, Josh Allen played pretty effective. Uh, Devin Singletary ripped our hearts out. John Brown. We held Stephon Diggs to a pretty good, uh, but John Brown was, it was really their defense. Tremaine Edmonds had 18 tackles. Brennan Butler and Matt Malone each had two. They had five sacks on us. Brennan Butler had two. Ed Oliver had one. Mario Addison had one. And Matt Milano had one. And we gave up through four picks. Tyron Johnson and Levi Wallace both returned for touchdowns to Matt Malone. Um, Matt Milano uh, had two of them. They, had, they were 3-for-3 three three for their field goals. They only punted twice. There you go. This was the score. And yeah. That was a rough one. I will say that. I will definitely say that was a rough one. Uh, we have two people that we can upgrade to our Basham. Speed Rusher. And then George Font. We have no one new injury. Of course, it is Forcino Fatakasi. He's out for five weeks, which basically means he'll be back week six. Uh, hopefully. We have Malik Jackson, so we should be good. That was unfortunate. All right, so. I will probably stream this tomorrow. We were 7th in offensive yards. And 20th in defense. It's technically not that bad. Uh, we put our defense in a lot of really bad situations. Compared to the other rookies. Uh, Drew Locke threw for 4 touchdowns. Justin Herbert didn't have it, didn't do anything much. Uh, Lamar Jackson went 
threw four picks. Matt Stafford threw a pick. Joe Burrow was all right. And, you know, see? I mean, compared to the other rookies, my guy's not that bad. Right? I mean, other than the fact that he did throw four picks and he got sacked five times. Kirk Cousins got sacked six times, though. All right. Rushing, Adrian Peterson only had 10 carries. Receiving yards, Chris Godwin leads the league in reception and receiving yards. Receptions belongs to Mr. Frank Gore. Touchdowns belong to Mr. Tyreek Hill, Josh Oliver, T.Y. Hilton, and Odell Beckham Jr. And our guys right there tied for second. Um, not the best. I would say but we did great uh, he said he wants better salary so we're gonna give it to him there you go he should be okay with that there we go we have re-signed Corey Davis to a five-year 57 million dollar deal 0.4 million dollars hopefully he can uh, be our tight our receiver of the of the future. Um, here's some of the transactions so far. We're gonna go all the way to week one, and then we're gonna I'm gonna end the stream. Okay, um, so yeah, thank you guys for uh, coming on to the stream, uh, or if you're watching the video, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I'll probably, this would probably be, oh no, wait. But um, yeah, like I, like I was going to say before. Uh, that was probably our left. Um, I don't know who we got to resign someone. Uh, practice squad number. Those are left end. All right. But yeah, so thank you guys for coming out. Um, and watching the video, watching the stream, all that good stuff. And, um, I'll probably either stream Mass Effect tomorrow, or if you guys want, I will stream some more Madden. Uh, but yeah. Uh, have a good one, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Uh, catch you on the flip side. And...